Hey guys, so I've landed in Dubai. I got in at like 5 a.m., went straight to bed, crashed. Got up, it's quarter past two, and the closest place to move the aircon is the mall. So that's where we are. So we're gonna walk around. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but we're gonna find something tasty. I'm sure of it because I am absolutely ravenous right now. So let's go to the food court, the famous food court, and find some good food. You know when you go to something when you're young and you come back to it, or if you go to something like repeatedly, it doesn't feel as big as it used to. The mall actually feels small now. I don't really know why. It's kind of like the Birmingham Bull Ring, that size, if you know what I mean. I think we are entering the food court now. It looks pretty similar to Burger King, if I'm being honest, and I did not like that place, so we will see. Thanks. So I went for the beef superstar, went for the chicken superstar, a drink and some chips. The chips actually, she refilled, so she put them in, and then she put more in, and that's how many you get. So you don't get a big portion of chips, but that's okay if the food's good. And it all cost me 52 dirham. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't even know what day it is, so I don't have to convert that. I think it's like 12 pounds. I don't know, I, don't, I think it's like 12 pounds. But uh, there you go, that's what I paid. Um, I'm gonna go for the beef first. I always enjoy a good beef burger. I hope it's better than Burger King because they were like directly next door. And I did like a comparison when I came here last time between all the main chains that made the beef burger. Um, so I did like McDonald's, Wendy's. I missed out Hardee's and I, I did not like uh, Burger King at all. That's not bad at all. I like the charring. I like the actual flavor of the beef. It's got like a quite a pronounced flavor. There's a good amount of like onion in there. I'm gonna take that tomato out. However, I have just seen something which is a little bit odd looking. I'll keep it real guys. That's just not right, is it? But there we go. Maybe it's just how they've stored and cooked the beef. Who knows, right? I'm not gonna judge it on that because it tastes okay. But these are getting removed for sure. If you're a tomato lover, you probably like they're big and voluptuous and juicy, but not for me. I'm gonna try the chicken one next. I did quite actually like the beef burger, if it's well priced. I don't know if it is, because I don't have a it cost, but it's okay, it's okay. Do you know where I really wanna go? I'll make. It's right there. It's so good, it's so good. Some of the best fried chicken I've ever had, guys. It's so good, but let's, talking of fried chicken, let's try the chicken superstar. This looks good, this looks good, but I'm not gonna make the same mistake, guys. I'm gonna remove the tomato we don't like tomatoes out here, so that's getting completely removed. Give this a go then. I think that's much better than the beef, actually. I think a few steam coming out of that. The chicken's cooked really well. Quite like the batter. I think that one was really nice. It's flavoured quite well. If this was placed somewhere, like not here, because there's so many options here. If this was placed somewhere where there weren't as many options, I think this could be a decent thing to have, actually. I think this could actually be okay. However, because there's so much good food here, I probably wouldn't get this if that makes sense, but if it was somewhere else, say in the UK, Manchester, Rondale, I think I'd get that. I think I'd pick that over like a, a KFC, for example. That's actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna try, I know I've said it before, but honestly, right, there's about 12 chips there. And I'm like, that's when she topped them up. So there isn't really that much going on. And I think it's the cheapest part of the thing, right? You could give a, a decent portion. You, you could do that. Give them a go. They are skin on fries. They're perfectly serviceable. They're perfectly serviceable. Need a bit of dash of salt, which they do not give you. I'm sure you can ask for that. They do need a dash of salt. They're perfectly serviceable, guys. This was my first meal in Dubai. Actually, I'm lying to you. It's my second, but don't worry about that. I'm going to this is my first meal in Dubai Mall. It's my first meal in Dubai Mall. So I'm going to munch a lot of this down. And then I'm gonna move on. I think I'm gonna to have to go to Al Baker again. I know I've done a review already, but as a creator, I need to find a way to do it again. Al Bake, is it as good as I thought before? I don't know. I need to find a way. It's fantastic, and I wanna eat it. Hey guys, just jumping into the video for a quick word from our sponsor, the Halal Butchery. These guys are a premium meat delivery service based in Manchester. They are expanding to other areas as well, and these guys are where I get all of my meat from. I'm going to leave the information down below. Also, I've got a really cool event coming up with them where I met loads of subscribers, so yeah, that's coming up too. That was a good one because loads of you feature in my video, so yeah, that's coming out soon. But anyway, let's head back into the video. Let's head back to Dubai. But guys, thank you for watching. I've got a ton more videos for Dubai. I'm still uh, editing Pakistan, Kashmir, Milan, and after this, I've got Istanbul as well. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date. Like the video, share the video, and I'll see you all in that next video. Bye 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 bye.